I mean, they, they did get a lot of depth in the things they did uh, as far as the linebackers putting hands on receivers and then trying to fall off at a 10 to 12 area. And then he's got to do a better job of you know, checking the ball down and getting to all the guys who go make plays, even if it's four, four or five yards, first, second down, that's still positive yards and still good behind the chance. How do you think you dealt with disappointment before and stuff? What is the key for you this week? What's that dinner monologue like? Let's get back to the fundamentals of what we do, executing. that game and then in a game like Iowa it seemed like you were trying some tough throws and it went the other way is there any connection between that of sometimes if you're trying to make a play sometimes you make it and sometimes they get you and then that's just the way it goes when you're trying to make plays um I mean there's a little bit to that but uh, I think it's more just knowing when those times are to take those chances I think in the fourth quarter we were in a position early where I didn't have to the issue like I did with that, just understand the situation. Do you have two minutes for this week, JT? Well, um, you know, learn from it, I'm getting better, but you know, we've got to move on. You know, I'm just going to start playing the house and playing good football. So, I'm going to move on and get better. I can tell it's been around the guys, it's family, it's family, it's family. So, have you, the Have you seen enough of them yet to scalp the Spartans? Have you seen enough of them yet to scalp the Spartans? So what are you seeing when you watch them? I mean, it's usually to say defense. I'm playing some of the side of defense. I'm going to say aggressive boots. You know what? I mean, a little heavy up on the land. I'm going to try not to let you run the ball. And then from there, you know, take the shots down the field, make plays down the field. So, same kind of defense. Have been playing the past couple years. You played against them three times and beat them twice. Just uh, <coughs> how rugged, how tough are these games with Michigan State? Even the one you guys won up there was a, just a complete battle. Uh, just your thought about what, what pops to your mind, uh, you know, when you think about that green and, and white going up against them. JT, did that six eight defense that six eight defensive tackle in the middle of the field there, maybe in a couple of throwing lanes, that throw you off at all when you're dealing with that? No. JT, what is the toughest part about dealing with Michigan State's defense? What do they do? You were talking about it a while ago, but what is it that they really present problems for you guys from, from your vantage point the last two seasons? Um, I feel like every year they you know, throw a little something new that they normally didn't do yeah. on film. Um, so with that, uh, just making sure to be able to make adjustments with that uh, within the game. So I think that's one of the main things we're I mean, talking about. The top defense is in the conference, so we're going to do what they do. They're not going to change it. They're going to do what they do. 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 